Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat the Corrupted Monk, or the Phantom Corrupted Monk, as it's better known. So for this fight, it's actually not too hard. All you have to do is deflect her attacks. I know that's a lot easier than it sounds, um, but you don't really have to focus on doing much of any damage to her. Um, you're just not really going to have the opportunity. I did try using Divine Confetti because I wasn't sure if this was considered like an undead sort of uh, boss that I needed to use it for, but you don't, but it just makes your sword look cool anyway. Um, so yeah, just deflect her attacks. She uses a lot of sweeping attacks that are fairly easily telegraphed. She also has an unblockable lunge, but if you use the Makiri counter, you can step on her spear and then deal a decent amount of posture damage. Uh, and yeah, that's sort of it. So you just want to keep rinse and repeating. The arena isn't too big. Um, but honestly, it's not that bad. You have plenty of room to move around. The stairs can be a little tricky, especially when she's using that lunge attack, uh, but it's, it's not too difficult. Um, she deals a lot of damage to you very quickly, uh, so be sure to uh, stay healed, obviously. Um, you do want to try to attack whenever you have the oppor opportunity. You don't need to deal a ton of damage, like I said, but you do want to keep her posture meter as full as possible for as long as possible. Um, eventually, she will do some really long sweeping attacks. She'll do like four or five in a row. This is a great opportunity to build as much posture as possible and to uh, to whittle her down. And then eventually, you know, she only has one death blow marker, so you don't need to kill her more than once. And once you do kill her the one time, it's over and you can move on. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not too hard. Like I said, you know, there is one of the sweeping attacks is unblockable. Uh, you can jump over it and step on her head if you have good timing. I unfortunately did not there. That's okay. Um, but yeah, just keep trying to bait out her uh, four or five sweeps in a row, and then eventually uh, you'll just build enough posture to take her out. And that's about it. All right, I'll let the rest of the fight play out, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. If you're looking for more guides for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, please feel free to subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new ones go live. All right, I'll switch on to Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.